in chapter 2 source of finance within chapter 2 we have the stock market alternative investment and uh, the money market option and different source of finance so today we'll discuss from this chapter 2 we'll discuss a long-term capital financing source weight diverse cost of capital and we will calculate the cost of capital amount of external financing requirement for the proposed expansion also we will calculate working capital weight diverse cost of capital cost of preferring share cost of equity share etc a long-term capital financing source their owners capital that means equity and we need the fixed capital because equity financing no need for interest no need finance arts etc but if we borrow money from the bank and other part that we have to pay that interest and other thing uh, our business uh, that means our uh, profit making or not we have to pay the interest but owners capital that means equity financing do not need to pay the interest they only we have to pay the dividend only. so if we see the weighted reverse cost of capital we discussed uh, earlier also here cost of equity that means here equity cost of equity we can calculate this way equity risk premium multiplied by beta and we have to add risk free rate and that means CAPM formula and then we will get the cost of equity and also cost of debt average yield of debt multiplied by tax sheet and then we will get the cost of debt after tax then if we add cost of equity with the cost of debt of the tax then we will get the weighted average cost of capital and component can be different type that's be preference capital tab bond etc source of business finance if we review it we uh, just see that we can collect money from the long term that is long term equity that would equity share return earnings preferred share debenture loan from the financial institutions and also medium term long term loan from banks public deposit also and short term trade credit etc and on the basis of ownership we have seen the owners fund and broads fund and on the basis of source of generation we have seen it the internal source and external source both are the source of finance and here is a problem calculating cost of capital so one problem is here you are a company secretary of a company the CFO of your company has calculated weighted average cost of capital 12.5 percent already calculated by the CFO and the component of the capital is bond common share return earnings totally 5 lakh bond annual interest rate is 6 percent year of maturity 9 years common share 2 lakh dollar or you can take it taka share held one lakh share current share price five dollar and market return over next year 12 percent next year dividend and beta 1.15 equity beta treasury bill currently four percent this means risk free rate of return uh, tax rate is 25 percent and no information written on is because written earnings has no cost because it is the within the organization so calculation of cost of capital if i and first as a company secretary you have to calculate it and you have to say you are agree or disagree with the cfos this rate 12.5 percent if we go for calculating from this figure cost of capital first we have to determine the market value what is market value look here this is the bond to lag annual interest rate six percent year of maturity nine years so here 
face value 2 lakh is the face value and interest per year 6% at the rate of 6% on 2 lakh then per year interest is 12,000 9 years rate 6% so what would be the present value if we take this formula for calculating the present value then if we put here then we will get the present value 1,18,343.2 phase value of the bond is 2 lakh but its present value is 1,18,343 and common share 1 lakh share at the rate of 5 so total 5 lakh value of share 5 lakh so if we uh, calculate the bond is 11834 and common share 5 lakh so now component is 2 though here question is 3 component bond common share return earnings though we know the uh, return earnings has no cost so we have to calculate it in both cost of capital so here bond this one common share 5 lakh totally we are getting here 6 lakh 18,343 so if you take 6 lakh 18,343 equivalent 1 or 100 then 5 lakh is point 8086 portion also bond is 0.1914 so totally one one means 100 percent if 6 lakh 18,343 this means that we rounded up here so if we have 100 or 1 then 0.8 and 0.19 is the both bond and common share so now common share the rate of common share it is the proportion of how much uh, capital is proportion of capital so common share because if we calculate CAPM formula expected rate of return that means expected rate of return equal to risk free rate of return plus beta multiplied by market risk minus risk free rate of return this figure this, this is the formula and if we put the figure because risk free rate of return 4 percent that means here said that 4 percent is treasury bill this 4 percent plus you can take the beta is here 1.15 and delete from here is the market risk minus risk free rate of return so we will get cost of equity is 13.2 percent and now bond phase value is 2 lakh so what would be the effective rate our we have to pay the interest uh, 12,000 per year so 1 minus tax rate so effective rate would be 4.50 now if we go for calculating the weighted average cost of capital so we have the two component here bond and common share so weight weight 1.19 and 0.8086 if we put the weight here and multiply with the cost that means here effective rate 4.5 and common share 13.20 just we get from here so if we multiply that we'll get the weight multiplied by cost then we'll get 0.8613 and 10 so totally if we add both rate then we'll get 11.54 percent so here cost of capital that means weighted average it should be weighted average cost of capital here weighted average cost of capital is 11.5 percent so we have to disagree with the cfs rate because cf is calculated here 12.5 percent so this is the one of math look here amount of external financing requirement for the proposed expansion one company need 100 million over the coming year finance and expansion of the business 
accounting statement is here and few requirement here uh, without expansion sale turnover this is a one of math i think and answer is very simple and easy i think after getting the sheet you can calculate yourself and then we can discuss later on then weighted average cost of capital cost of preferring share and equity so we can calculate here the separate all four are separate or unique item that means if it has a debt equity ratio 0.55 and the tax rate 35 percent the firm does not issue preferred stock the cost of equity is 14.5 percent and the after tax cost of debt is 4.8 percent what is the weighted diverse cost of capital in this case the separate case is very simple weighted diverse cost of capital so weighted diverse cost of capital we can calculate also this way here but thing Dev equity, equity ratio is 50.55. So here, look here. Weighted average cost of capital, equity, divided by dev plus equity, multiplied by cost of equity plus dev divided by dev plus equity, multiplied by cost of dev, multiplied by one minus tax rate. So here. Uh, e means market value of equity d means market value of debt r e cost of equity r d cost of debt d means tax so this within this formula if we put our and uh, this figure then we will get look here 1 divided by 1.55 13.5 plus 55 divided by 1.55 multiply by 0 0.48 0 0.48 comes here Leg uh, cost of debt is after tax cost of debt is that means they adjust tax here so 4.8 so this way we can get the weighted average cost of capital 11.06 percent uh, this number one and number two also what would the company's weighted average cost of capital you can calculate it what the cost of prefer in a stock etc so all answer is here very small small answer expected rate of return is stock cost of equity dividend growth rate here this math with the answer is also here and eps calculation also here um, uh, we can see that eps indifference analysis also we will uh, work the eps in our another chapter suppose if it has a capital structure exactly comprises the ordinary share amount 10 lakh now we wish to raise additional 10 lakh for expansion the firm has four alternative financial plan is the entire amount in the from the equity capital that means another 10 lakh they can raise from the equity capital it can be 50 percent of equity capital and 50 percent of five percent debenture so 50 percent will raise that means five lakh at the rate of five percent debenture and five lakh from the equity financing and raising the entire amount at six percent debenture that's been whole six uh, ten lakh uh, raise six percent dimension it can raise fifty percent equity capital and fifty percent of five percent preference capital so this is the four condition for plan for the resume that the existing earning before interest tax are one lakh twenty thousand evit one lakh twenty thousand the tax rate thirty five percent outstanding ordinary share ten thousand and the market price per share is 100 under the all of the four alternatives that means this amount for all four alternatives so now which financing plan should be the firms or companies selected for the company four plan you can calculate uh, number get the number one two three four a b c d four plan if we go just first one 
earning before interest tax 120,000 for the four plans also. So here 120,000 here says that all amount come from the equity financing. So 120,000 earning before interest tax it's mean that is the earning before tax because it's, here is no interest because here is no debt 100% equity financing so from here 120,000 have to pay the tax what would be the tax here said tax rate is 35% so 35% of 1,20,000 then tax would be 42,000 so deduct from 42,000 from the 120,000 then we'll get earning after tax 78,000 and here is no preference share so no preference dividend then earnings available to the ordinary shareholder these uh, 78,000 number of share previously number of share only 10,000 now another 10 lakh issued equity financing so same way 10,000 plus 10,000 so it would be 20,000 number of share so if we divide 78,000 by the number of share 20,000 then we will get earning per share EPS 3.9 taka so plan 1 will we are getting here EPS 3.9 now look plan B raise 50% of equity capital and 50% 5% debenture so here earning before tax EBIT the same that means 120,000 and have to pay the interest what would be interest 50% that means 10 lakh 50% that means 5 lakh 5 lakh multiplied by 5% so less interest that means 25,000 so in if we um, deduct the interest from the earning before interest tax we get earning before tax 95,000 and 95,000 multiplied by 35 percent is the tax so tax is 33,250 now earning after tax is 61,750 and here though 50 percent is equity financing 50 percent means 5 lakh equity financing so 5000 share would be added with this 10000 so now number of share is 15000 so if we divide 61750 taka by the 15000 share number of share then our eps would be 4 taka 10 portion it is the for the plan b now think about 3 raise the entire amount 6% debenture no equity financing is here so plan C 1,20,000 our EBIT is the same so we have to pay 6% uh, interest on 10,000 debenture so our interest would be 60,000 now earning before tax is 60,000 we have to pay the 35% uh, tax, 21,000. Then our earning after tax is 39,000. So this 39,000, the owner of the equity shareholder. So here there is no equity financing. That's why only we have 10,000 ordinary share. So we have uh, divide 10,000 share by the taka thara, that means 39,000 taka divided by 10,000 share then we will get EPS 3 taka 90% now plan 4 50% equity financing 50% 5% preference capital so here it is the only here preference capital not driven chart so preference capital here calculation is here so our EBIT 1,20,000 and this is the earning before tax because no interest is here so 120000 35% uh, tax tax is 42000 after uh, deducting tax earning after tax is 78000 so from this 78000 have to pay the preference dividend because it is the preference 
panel before the ordinate shareholder so uh, here 25,000 is the preference dividend how that means 5 lakh that means 50 percent of 10 lakh multiply by 5 percent then we will get 25,000 so 25,000 preference dividend if we deduct from 78,000 then earnings available for the ordinary shareholder 53,000 and 53,000 here number of ordinary share is 15,000 because there was 10,000 previously originally and now uh, in the plan D 50% of 10 lakh share uh, 10 lakh capital equity uh, financed by the equity financing so here 5,000 share will be added so total share number of share is 15,000 so 53,000 divided by 15,000 ordinary share the EPS 3.5 so here there is a few law, uh, notes here so here the base on EPS plan B is more appropriate or more um, that means that would be better than any other plan so as a company secretary or as a finance guy have to suggest for the company that we have to take the plan two because here EP is higher than any other plan. So uh, B is 50% equity capital and 50% dimension, no preference. So this one. So here another few very simple math. You can take it. Okay, and also EPS EBIT analysis here. And three plan is here also and uh, sometimes our short note comes what is venture capital this year also comes and another level so venture capital provides a long term committed share capital to help unquoted companies unquoted is there's not listed grow and succeed if an entrepreneur is looking to start up that means uh, want to start expand buy into a business buy out a business in which he works turn around the relevance the company venture capital could help do this so basically venture capital sometimes it's a um, take the companies uh, that is a small size company that is an unquoted company they are work with the unquoted company. they are financing with the unquoted company so here few question answer these three question about early stage of corporate finance and point of view bank loan Walter theory of dividend policy one we have here Walter model is just calculating here so it's all for our uh, chapter 2 now we are going for chapter 3 it's here you can write it and a cost of debt calculation of cost of debt so now we are going for module 3 or chapter 3 it is the share and loan capital